Hi, Dr. Alan Gavick, CEO of Cell Science. I like to come to you every once in a while and talk to you about different things that we see in medicine, whether we see it in the newspaper or on television, and occasionally it's some of the negative stuff, uh, what you might call the dark side of medicine. Well, I have joining me today Dr. John Young from Largo, Florida. John has been using stem cells for the past year in his practice. And John, I would just like you to talk to the public about what do you see? What, how do you correct these misconceptions? How do you address these things so that these misconceptions don't get carried away? Well, let me just say from my own experience, <clears throat> I was excited when I started in the Tampa Bay area. There was a couple centers opening up doing stem cell treatment right. for COPD, emphysema. And I sent patients over there. Uh, they were 70, 80 years old. And uh, they paid, uh, one did it with uh, their own blood. Right. One did it with uh, fat tissue. Um, and they both paid their $12,000, $7,500. And nothing ever happened. So, of course, I'm really kind of like, did these guys take advantage? Um, and it's very interesting. The receptionist for that uh, institute is uh, my patient. And I asked her one day, I said, listen, in the, in the year you've been there, how many patients have you seen get better? Zero. That's interesting because that's something that we discuss a lot with umbilical cord stem cell is because of the consistency and where it comes from, we know we have quality and, and concentration of the cell. And it's not that the institute is necessarily using an inferior product because the stem cell is a great thing, but we know now that due to age and health, the quality and concentration of your cells can be significantly diminished. Therefore, that's probably why they're not getting a response. You know, I, I, and I've told some people who are really interested in doing their own, I said, all right, uh, you're under 30 years of age, go for it. I think there's a good chance it's gonna work. Absolutely. But I think as you get, you know, 35, what, 40, the chances are gonna go down. Uh, what is it, uh, what, at birth you have one stem cell for 10,000 cells, at 16, one per 100,000, at 60, one per two or three million. So, you know, if there's a lot of repair to go on, you've got to have enough stem cells. It's fun learning, it's fun educating, and I really appreciate your time and thank you for stopping by today. Thanks for having me.